Okay, so I wanted to show you a little bit of how we transfer a dog into a hill position when we're just using food. Um, so we go food to the e-collar, not using the leash. First of all, I wanna find this dog's working level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap this and raise it until I see something that tells us the dog is aware that something's on its neck right there. So at six, that was enough for me. And so if you saw that kind of stimulated her to come into me and get a treat. So it was very light. Um, now, what, what we've done up to this point with this dog is we'll say heel, and then she comes into heel position and gets a piece of food. I also want to mention at this time that this is more geared towards a pet dog, not a, not a sport prospect. Even though this dog could be a sport prospect, we're just kind of, I want to show you how we do this with a pet. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just start moving along with that. Me a heel? Good. Now I'm not doing anything with the e collar right now. I'm just getting heel position. Dropping treats on the floor. Me a heel? Good. Good. Good girl. Heel? Good. Good. Okay, so I'm starting to use the e collar now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pushing it while she's away and then letting off right as soon as I get the treat. So we're going to say heel. Pushing the button and let off. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now she's staying with me, so I'm not doing anything with the button. Right here, I'm going to go away. Heel. Good. Good girl. Heel. I'm holding and holding. Holding. And she's going to kind of outlast her. Mia. Heel. Heel. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Good girl. So again, I'm gonna wait till she go. Good girl. Heel. I said the command. Now I didn't push the button at all right there because I felt like she gave me enough compliance to the command that we didn't need to. Good girl. Good. Me a heel. while she's out in front of me, because that's kind of getting me a kill. Let up, good. So if I reward her out too much out here, that's going to be starting her on a bad healing position. You want to reward her back here by our sides. Kill. I'm pushing and let up, good girl. Kill. Holding, let up. Good. Good girl. Good. Good girl, Mia. Good girl. Sit. Oop. Heel. I'm pulling around. I'm gonna get her all the way around. Heel. And let up. Right there. Good girl. So I'm going to try, I'm going to kind of lure her around from the front to the side now. Front, sit. Good. Now I'm going to get her back into heel position from here. And I'm going to be, use it, I'm going to do it using the button. Heel, so I'm pushing the button, I'm going to guide her with the tree. Good. And let up. Good girl. I think I'm going to go down a notch, so we're going to go to, we'll go to five. Good. Front, sit. Good. Heel. Good. Good. Front. Sit. Good. Good sit. Be a kill. And I still have the button down. Kill. Let up. So I let up right there, right as soon as she comes in. Good girl. Okay. So that's a session that we want to end about right there. Just keep it kind of new, keep sessions short for puppies because they don't have a lot of 
intellectual stamina. Good girl. So even though her stomach wants a little bit more, I'd rather kind of put her away a little bit hungry and then pull her out in another hour and do another session on her. But that's the way that we teach the e-collar for healing and we transfer right from food to using the e-collar without the leash.